as far as 75 miles away that they actually heard a little bit of the boom. Tonight, we're learning more about the effects of a chemical blast that took the life of a truck driver. The explosion burned some 300 yards into the forest. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Ashley Kett. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Kloss. I want to bring you up to speed on what happened today. This all happened early this morning on Highway 278 West of Camden in Washtenaw County. The truck was carrying a load of ammonium nitrate from El Dorado to Texarkana. Officials say the truck's brake lines apparently caught fire then ignited the explosive materials. The blast killed the driver. He was identified as 63-year-old Randall McDougal. Washita County's judge says firefighters and deputies were on the scene of the fire when the truck blew. McDougal had gotten back in the truck when it happened. Pressure from the blast knocked out windows of nearby homes and also ripped a massive hole on the highway where the truck was sitting. KRK Forge Rebecca Jeffrey joining us now live from Canyon tonight with a look at some of the damage the fire department's equipment there caused by the explosion. Rebecca, they were on scene when this thing went up. Yeah, exactly. They were, Bob. And while these vehicles are, of course, made for emergencies, as you can see by this truck behind me, the emergency this morning was a little too much for it. We know that the fire chief's $45,000 new truck actually behind this truck may have been totaled, while this truck, this engine, has thousands of dollars worth of damage. Every time these doors open, there's hundreds of things that are going through our minds. Especially in the case Wednesday morning, when the Camden Fire Chief learned a truck carrying highly flammable material was on fire. We realized that at this point, it was too far gone. We didn't have enough water to fight this fire. Chief Medford had already made the call to evacuate people living within a mile radius of the burning truck. And moments after he and his crew made contact with the driver and headed back to their units, the worst possibility happened. This was a bigger explosion, a bigger explosive event than I have ever witnessed. It knocked the chief and several firefighters to the ground, blew out this engine's windshield, and made nearly every airbag in the chief's truck deploy. At first, I didn't realize the damage was quite as extensive as it was. While it's believed 63-year-old Randall McDougall was the driver killed in the explosion, the chief is determined to learn from it. As bad as this incident was with loss of life, we still try to learn a lesson from these. Now as RDOT crews and Wachita County Sheriff's deputies work to repair and clean up the 15-foot deep crater on Highway 278, the department is busy with its own repairs and reflection. So I would like to think that the decisions that we made were the right decisions and that they did result in, in lives saved. Now, when these trucks could be repaired or possibly replaced is still unknown. They'll have to go through the other truck's insurance company. We do know that there were three Camden firefighters who were taken to the hospital, but we're told it was just for uh, precautionary measures. They are okay tonight. Some good news there. Uh, however, there was that one fatality, but no other injuries were reported. Live in Camden, I'm Rebecca Jeffrey for KRK4 News. Back to you.